Well, you know what's crazy? What's crazy is, I told you guys, this woman is 24 years old. And I told you guys, all of this month, you're going to see nothing but black shaming. Either it's a woman being black shamed, or it's a black man being black shamed. You know what I'm saying? And it all has to do with the number 42. <laughs> Or 49, or somewhere with a 4 in it. Because 4 represents black people. This woman is 24. In reverse, that's 42. Ultimate black shaming. But not only is that black shaming, I was looking at this. And um, I was looking at her GoFundMe. She raised us 7000 and something dollars. You know what I'm saying? She need more than that. She really do. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Because, and this is what happens when you black women choose the wrong Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Stop choosing wrong Negroes. I mean, listen people. Listen black women. Just because somebody looks good don't mean they're good. Just because they talk good game don't mean they're good. Just because they sex you good. Don't mean they're good. You understand? Just because you see them with a nice car. Check and see the glove department. And see what name is that car registered in. The name is registered in. If it's their mamas or their sisters. Then they're no good. You know what I'm saying? If they don't have no place to stay and they living with their mama or they living with their auntie or they bouncing from couch to couch and then they bag you and then you fall for them, they are no freaking good. I say that because when I read this news story, my heart went out to this woman. But then I had to curb it just a little bit because you know what I'm saying? A lot of black women is guilty of the same thing. Making the bad choice and choices in the wrong men. Now this woman was locked up. She did not leave her children inside of the motel room to go clubbing. She left her children inside of the motel room to go work. She had to go work so that she can feed her kids. Because the no good father could not even watch his kids while she go to work. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. If I have children by women, right? And the woman is the only one that's working. I'm not doing shit. And the woman... Need a babysitter. I'm there. Drop the kids off to me. I'm going to watch the kids while you go to work. Even if we're not together. I'm going to watch the kids and my kids while you go to work. If the father ain't watching the... I think, you know, you, you, I think the father is the one that called the police on this woman. Just so that he can get custody of the children. Just so that he can reverse the child support payments. That's what I think. Because, you know what I'm saying? One thing a Negro don't want to do, don't want to pay child support. Now, I'm against child support. But when the Negro is no good, I think that Negro need to pay child support. And I think this is just a ploy. I think this is just a ploy just for the father to, you know, to put dirt on the mama. Now the mama's locked up, you know what I'm saying, for trying to work, trying to make some money so that she can feed her kids. The mama's locked up. The police give the children 
to the father. Which the father is probably the one that called the police on the mama. It's a dirty game. This is the, you know what I'm saying, raggedy Negroes. Raggedy, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. You know what I'm saying? I really can't stand raggedy Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Who see a vulnerable woman and take full advantage of that vulnerable woman and then lead that vulnerable woman with kids and not even trying to take care of them kids. But yet now, now the father want to be a, a, a good father and take care of the kids because what he's trying to do is reverse that child support. He's trying to make it... Hold on. Okay, people, like I said, this this is, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, this is a Negro who, you know what I'm saying, trying to reverse the child support payments. I guarantee you that's what this is. You know what I'm saying? Negroes trying to outsmart mothers. You know what I'm saying? Trying to reverse the child support payment, if he's even paying child support. But if there's court documents, if she... You know, see, so that's that's what this is. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Shemia Sh Shamina Shaima Shima. I think her name is Shima Shami Shima. Whatever her name is, Shima Bell. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a, a prime example. This is number one. The reason why this news story hit the public and became something in the media is because this is Black History Month, and they want to black shame. That's part of black shaming. And not only that, when I read the news report, it really touched my heart. Because, you know what I'm saying, I see where she's coming from. She ain't got no help. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got no help. Her damn baby daddy ain't worth a damn. You know what I'm saying? And and, and she ain't got no help. So, you know what I'm saying? She let, the, you know what I'm saying, what what else she supposed to do? She was working. When the police found her, the police went to the pizza shop where she was working at. It's not like she was in a club. I can see if she went out on a date or something. She was working. And they picked her up from working. And, you know, when, when I seen, when I was reading the f news story even further... I was thinking that they was they took her kids and put her in foster care. But then when I read the further, they said, Oh, the kids is in the custody of the father. Oh, okay. So this is that cowardly looking father that did this. That father did this. Just to yeah, listen, Shemia Bell. I would like to give you an interview. I, I want you to I want you to tell your side of the story. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put you up on my other platform, my other podcast platform. You know what I'm saying? I want you to tell tell your side. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Send me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is P S T R Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Also, I will discuss. Interviewing you also. I would like to interview you so that you can tell your side of the story because I know that no good baby father of yours was put up to this. I know it. You know what I'm saying? They want to put her on blast. She only raised like seven seven thousand dollars and some change. You know what I'm saying? I only raised like seven thousand and some change. Oh man, this is crazy. But anyway, this is news. She me a she me a bell. Hit me up, you know what I'm saying. I would definitely like love to give you an interview, and and if I can help in any way, let me know. You know what I'm saying. I'll see what I can do. Especially I, you especially got my prayers. You know what I'm saying, because you you did something that a lot of other black women don't do. A lot of other black women leave their kids at home alone and go party. At least you left your kids out at home to go and work. Which you ain't supposed to be working. To all you black women across the globe. You black women ain't supposed to be working. The man is supposed to be working. The man is supposed to be working. The woman is supposed to be at home nourishing, nourishing and taking care of them children. That's it. Making the household 
And then when a man come home from work, from a hard day's work, he's supposed to, you know what I'm saying, come home to his kids and his wife. It ain't like that. You got black men looking for a check. Black men, lazy men looking to squeeze and sponge off of the woman. It's freaking crazy. Anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. That's PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I add you to the group. And you, Shemia Bell, if you stumble across my show, this show here, make sure you um, send me that friend request. I would like to speak to you personally. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.